Hello. Are you a mother and you need God's wisdom? Do you need guidance in what to do, how to encourage, how to parent, how to steward your child's life? Or maybe your children are older and you just need to know what's God's way. What are you supposed to do with anything? Then that means you need a prayer for a mother's wisdom. And I'm here to pray for you today. Now, wisdom is just one aspect of what we're praying for this week. As this week is mom's prayer week. As I'll be praying for you, if you are a mother or a grandmother in different areas. Our memory verse is from Isaiah 40 and 29. He gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. And for many of you, maybe you need that. Come into agreement with me as I pray for you to have God's wisdom as a mother. Be in faith. All I ask you to do is hit the thumbs up button and type amen to be in agreement and show your agreement. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord, for the opportunity to come to you, Lord. Now, Father, you said we can come boldly before your throne of grace where we may obtain grace and favor in our time of need. And as mothers, we need your wisdom, your guidance, your heart, the leading of the Holy Spirit as mothers. Father, it doesn't matter whether our children are 1, 10, 15, 20, 30, 40 years old. We always need your wisdom and guidance on what to say to them, how to encourage them, how to build them up, how to help them without stifling their growth. Father, we don't want to be mothers that serves as crutches for our children We don't want to cripple our children's growth and stunt their growth and maturity. Father, we want our children to be wise, God-fearing, God-loving, spirit-filled, intelligent, hard-working, decent people. And we don't have the answers, Lord, but you do, and so does your word. And so, Lord, the Bible says, if we lack wisdom in any area, you, you would give it to us. So, Father, we're stretching out our hands and we're praying for Holy Ghost wisdom. Hallelujah. God, we don't want to rely on ourselves. We we don't want to rely on how we were raised. We need your wisdom. And so we're sitting at your feet today as mothers. You know things that we don't know about our children or our grandchildren. There are things we just don't know. But you do. You do. And so I'm crying out to you, Lord, and praying for a spirit of wisdom right now. Come, Holy Spirit, and guide us. Show us things in their lives, Lord, that we need to know and minister to us so we can in turn minister to our children by your precious Holy Spirit. It's in Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. And amen. Well, if you agree with me, type amen. Hit that thumbs up button so I know you are in agreement with me. I cannot stress the importance of this prayer as a mother. There are things that the Holy Spirit will reveal to you about your children if you seek him earnestly. If you cry out to God, not just on behalf of your children, but you cry out to God uh, for a holy insight into their lives, God will give it to you. I am a living testimony. God is, he's, God woke me up twice in the middle of the night and say, walk in your son's room because there are things I need to know that's going on. 
There, there are things that as uh, my children at their ages, I have to pray now for life with a teenage daughter, even though my daughter is 11. I'm already praying for wisdom to have a 16 year old girl in this culture. I'm already praying for that. I'm praying for what it's like to be a mom of a young adult who's 21, 22, even though my oldest is only 17. See, the wisdom of God, God will give you wisdom now. He'll give you wisdom for the now and he'll give you wisdom for tomorrow and he'll give you wisdom for 10 years from now. But that will only come if you are seeking and pursuing God. I certainly hope this prayer was helpful for you today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for joining me. I love you all dearly and I'm grateful. Okay. By the way, if you are a warrior woman, check your email. We've got new videos coming out. Bye-bye.